Hi, I'm Tracy, VE3TWM. Thank you for tuning in to Outdoors on the Air. Today, part two of my series on the Diamond HFV5 compact dipole antenna. Uh, I earlier produced a video giving my first impressions on it. Today, I'm going to put it up in the air and we're going to try to make some contacts and see how it goes. First things first, let's get this thing built and I'll show you what we're talking about. So just before we get this up in the air, I'll just do a quick overview of the component pieces of this antenna. So it is a shortened dipole, uh, and this would be the feed point right here. And take, you know, listen to this thing. It is absolutely rock solid. Excellent job by Diamond. There's no doubt that this thing can withstand winters and all kinds of adverse weather conditions if you're mounting it outside. Permanently. I did go into some of this information in uh, my previous video, my, my first look video at this antenna. Just a quick overview. So here's uh, here are the radiator arms spread out on the table here. Uh, the, the arm itself, uh, that's solid piece. That, that's not thin, uh, hollow aluminum. That, that's actually a solid piece there. Uh, and the disc on the end, which accepts the individual radiators for each band. Now, when you buy one of these new, it comes with radiators for 40, 20, 15, 10, and 6 meters. The one that I bought, and I bought this used, Diamond didn't send it for me, full disclosure, they don't even know I exist, Diamond, feel free to send me an antenna to review and I'll be happy to do it. But the person I bought it from also had a 17 meter set of radi uh, radiators. So that means I've got some flexibility. I'm not doing any six meter work out here today, so I'm gonna put the 17 meter radiator on. Let's take a look at one of the radiator arms here. Now this piece on the bottom actually will unscrew to reveal a thread. And, and that's kind of interesting because it means that there's a possibility for maybe adding a copper extension to the radiator arm which if measured properly could provide increased efficiency on the bands so maybe something for a future video uh, and now let's take a look at one of the radiators themselves here is the 20 meter radiator now in, in this course this will be there's two of these one for either side uh, down at the bottom here, and, and a couple things to note here. So stainless steel, uh, not aluminum, very well made, and the weather sealing is really good. They, they've done a wonderful job on the weather sealing. At the bottom here, you can see there's a nut to help tighten it up once you've got it screwed in place. Uh, that, that, that will keep it in place uh, through high winds uh, and all the other stuff that it may encounter. Finally, there's a set screw at the end here for adjusting the resonant point within the band and of course that set screw exists on all the different radiators for each of the bands so that you can set the antenna up to be resonant exactly where you want it to be. Okay we have now assembled Tom and I the two radiator arms. Uh, what do you think Tom took us how two long? Two minutes. Two minutes? Yeah that, that, probably about it. The, the 40 meter radiator goes on the end and then around the outside you've got the other band set up here. The final step in assembling the dipole is to take the radial arm and put it into the socket provided. It's a thread on socket uh, and as you can see at the bottom of the radial uh, it's got a it's got this screw on component here and which uh, which I alluded to earlier. It just slides in like so and then there's this screw-on sheath, much like a, a PL259 would, and just screws on in a very solid, tight fit. One of the things that I think is really important, if you're planning on putting an antenna up like this permanently, put some deoxit or penetrox on these and, uh, and where the, the radiator arms screw in. Uh, just to make sure that you can unscrew them when it comes time to disassemble down the road and that the electrical connection remains good. All right, the antenna is up. I've got it supported on 16 feet of military stacking fiberglass poles. 
let's just take a quick look at the SWR. And we've got 1.06 at 14.242. I want to zoom up to 15, just in case 15 is open today, and take a look at it there. Taking a look at the SWR and 15 meters. And 1.08 at 21.177. Kilo America 9 Golf November Golf. Did I copy that correct, sir? That is correct. The name is Bill. You're 5-9 into Wisconsin. Over. Hey, Bill. Wonderful to make a contact with you today. Thanks so much. Really appreciate it. I got you a nice 5-9 signal into CA0166. Uh, QSL. Good luck. Have fun today. KA9 GNG clear. Whiskey 5 Kilo Echo Bravo. Whiskey 5 Kilo Echo Bravo. Did I copy your call correct, sir? That is correct. Got you 57 Arkansas. Thank you very much for the 57 in Arkansas. Really appreciate it. Uh, so you've got a 5 and 9 into CA 0166. Beautiful signal. Thank you, Sam. Thanks for being out there at the park. And I hope you have a good weekend. 7 3. Kilo November 4. Kilo Victor Goliath. Kilo November for uh, the rest of your call, please, sir. Yeah, Zulu, Victor, Juliet, Zulu, Victor, Juliet. Kilo November 4, Zulu, Victor, Juliet, please copy a 5-9 into CA-0166. Roger, roger, thanks for the 5-9 and thanks for the park. I got you about a 5-4 down in Georgia. 5-4, Golf Alpha, over. Thank you very much for the 5-4 in Georgia. Really appreciate the contact. 7-3, have a wonderful weekend. Thanks a lot. 7-3. Alpha, Alpha, Zero, Juliet, Bravo. Alpha, Alpha, Zero, Juliet, Bravo. You just blew me off the park bench here. Please copy a 5-9 into CA-0166. Roger, Roger. Copy the 5-9. I've got you 5-7, 5-7, 57. Over. Yeah, what state are you in? And I'm in Missouri. Mike Oscar. Hey, thanks for the contact from Missouri. Really appreciate it. Have a wonderful weekend in 7-3. 7-3. Thanks for activating. Alpha Delta Zero Whiskey X-ray. Alpha Delta Zero Whiskey X-ray. Please copy a five and nine from CA zero one six six. Roger, Roger. You're about a four five, four five in Missouri. Well, there you go. It didn't take me long after setting up the Poda station and calling CQ Poda to put some contacts in the log, which is kind of impressive for a thirteen foot compact multi-band antenna. Tom, what are your what are your thoughts on the Diamond, the HF V5? I absolutely love the antenna. I think it's very compact. It was quick to set up. It's really well made. You saw in the video that the parts are really well made. Everything is finesse, fits well. It's not MFJ definitely. Um, I, if I had the opportunity to purchase use one, I would definitely look into it. The brand new one is, I think, cost may be prohibitive, but if you can get uh, a used uh, antenna like this, definitely go for it. Uh, Performance-wise, um, Tracy made contacts. Of course, efficiency of this antenna is limited, but well, hey, you have five bands to choose from and like he said for limited space it is a fantastic option even for poda uh, or if when you camping and there are trees or there's not enough space this might be a very very good option so you have my two cents good great thoughts tom i appreciate it uh there you go, the Diamond HF V5. What are your thoughts on this antenna? Have you ever used one like this? Uh, please leave comments below. Let us know what you think about them. Uh, love to hear anything that you've got to say on this topic. Well, that's all for this time. Thanks for watching. Now it's your turn. Get out of the shack, get outdoors, and get on the air. 7-3 from Tom, VA3WBA, and Tracy, VE3TWM. Uh, <laughs>